Most Disney princesses came from fairy tales, and we all know how any good fairy tale ends. The end. For most Disney princesses, they overcome the villain to get to marry the prince at the end of the movie. But what happens after that? Our Disney princesses don't just disappear because the story's over. The next step after marriage would be parenthood, of course. You won't believe how adorable Tiana and Prince Naveen's daughter is. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more awesome videos like this one every day. Today, we're living happily ever after with this list of 10 Disney princesses reimagined as parents. Ariel. First up is everyone's favorite Little Mermaid, Ariel. She is actually the only Disney princess to have a child in the movie. Her daughter, Melody, appears in a direct-to-VHS sequel to the first film, The Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea. In it, Ursula's sister, Morgana, threatens the young princess at a celebration of her birth out on the sea. Out of fear, Ariel has a giant wall built between their castle and the ocean and hides her mermaid heritage from her daughter. But as we all know, you can take the girl out of the ocean, but you can't keep the ocean out of the girl. Melody sneaks out regularly to swim in the sea and eventually is lured away by Morgana's promise to permanently turn her into a mermaid. In the end, Ariel, Eric, Melody, and King Triton manage to defeat the wicked Morgana, and the wall is brought down so that the humans and merpeople can once again live in harmony. In this picture by artist Lene Asberg, Ariel, Eric, and Melody relax by the sea with a new young prince. And in this more realistic image by Isaiah Stevens, Ariel feeds her little royal pain, only to be rewarded with a face full of baby food. Oh, the joys of motherhood. Jasmine. Cosmopolitan asked Isaiah Stevens to do a collection of Disney princesses in various phases of motherhood. And boy, did he deliver. In this image of Jasmine, she has that pregnant glow on her face and the huge baby bump to match it. We love how she is foregoing her normal belly-bearing wardrobe for a more comfortable blue dress. She is still looking fabulous with her chunky earrings, and with eyelashes that long, she must be wearing mascara. But even more importantly, look at how happy she looks. Jasmine was the first Disney princess to not marry a fellow noble person. Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, Ariel, and Belle all married princes. She is also the only one other than Anna to have kissed a villain. Half royal or not, this baby is the future prince or princess of Agrabah. And we're sure Jasmine is going to be a great mother. After all, her child will get to have piggyback rides on a tiger's back, which is pretty cool. Also, she has a magic carpet at her disposal to lull her baby to sleep at night. And we all know Jeannie is going to be the best godfather ever, Pocahontas. Next up on our list is Pocahontas. And we know what you're thinking. Pocahontas and John Smith must have adorable kids together. However, not many people know that John Smith and Pocahontas actually do not end up together. In the 1998 straight-to-video sequel, Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, John Smith has gone missing. Pocahontas is upset, but she has a job to do. She must go on a journey to England to negotiate for her people with King James. While there, she stays with a diplomat named John Rolfe. Along the way, John Smith comes out of hiding and begs Pocahontas to come away with him, but she knows that it is not the right thing to do for her people. Instead, she and John Rolfe fall in love, and he decides to move to Jamestown to be with her. This is actually a closer story to the real-life historical figure that the Pocahontas movie is based on. She is a young Powhatan girl who does end up marrying an English diplomat named John Ralph. We love this rendition of Pocahontas with her newborn by Isaiah Stevens. The baby is so cute. We bet he'll soon learn how to finger paint with all the colors of the wind. Elsa. Queen Elsa of Arendelle is one of the few Disney princesses who does not end up married at the end of her movie. Frozen focuses more on Anna and Kristoff's love story. However, that doesn't mean that Elsa can't eventually find her one true love and become a parent. In this illustration by Isaiah Stevens, Elsa holds her baby in her arms. And the most awesome part? He has her ice powers. Elsa's son is the spitting image of his mother with bright blue eyes and icy blonde hair that somehow manages to fall perfectly on his head. It's touching to see Elsa smile with pride at her child, who shares with her what she once considered to be a curse. Now, the Queen of Arendelle embraces what makes her unique and is happy to see that her child shares this special ability with her. This kid will be wanting to build a snowman in no time. And who could be the King of Arendelle? One popular suggestion online 
is Jack Frost from The Rise of the Guardians. Since the movie came out, fans of the film have been pairing up the Snow Queen with the human representative of winter. They would make a pretty cool couple. Mulan The next princess to get a mommy makeover is Mulan. Mulan and Shang definitely have the bravery necessary for the incredibly difficult task of parenthood. In Mulan 2, Mulan and Shang escort the emperor's three daughters to a neighboring kingdom where they are supposed to marry three princes they have never met. Mulan mentors the girls in a way that feels almost motherly. She convinces them that true love is worth fighting for, which is advice we'd expect to hear from our mom. Mulan 2 also shows shows how good Mulan is with kids, proving what an amazing mother she'll be. In a scene at the beginning of the film, the young girls in the village want Mulan to teach them how to be warriors. She helps them understand that being a warrior isn't about having cool kung fu moves. Instead, you need a balance between being hard like a rock and soft like a cloud, which is honestly just a good life lesson. In this illustration by Isaiah Stevens, Mulan and Shang are expecting a baby any minute now. They both look truly happy to take some time off from saving China and face the hardest battle of their lives, the argument of whose turn it is to get the baby back to sleep in the middle of the night. Snow White of course, we can't talk about Disney princesses without including Snow White. In this image by Lene Asberg, Snow White and Prince Charming are out for a nice stroll with their enchanting young princess. We love how Snow White's daughter has her hair, and the bow she wears is just way too cute. She has rosy cheeks, just like her mother, and she has her father's gray eyes. We know the magic mirror says that Snow White is the fairest of them all, but her daughter may be giving her a run for her money. Of course, this illustration is much different from the popular television show, Once Upon a Time. The show centers around Snow White and Prince Charming's daughter, Emma Swan, who is the savior of Storybrooke. Emma is blonde, and unfortunately, she does not get to meet her parents until she is almost their age due to a curse put on the enchanted forest by the evil queen, Regina. We know the best part about the original Snow White having a child is she already has seven babysitters ready to go. We would love to see a short film with Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sneezy, Sleepy, Bashful, and Dopey trying to watch Snow White's daughter for a day. Cinderella up next on our list is Cinderella. Cinderella herself had to grow up without her parents. Instead, she was raised by her stepmother to be a house servant. She spent her childhood scrubbing floors, feeding chickens, and waiting on her stepsister's hand and foot. She never really got to be a kid herself. Finally, Cinderella takes matters into her own hands and decides she is going to live a little and go to the ball with a little help from her fairy godmother, of course. She is able to dress in style and meet the prince. The two fall in love and get married. What comes next? Well, Cinderella becomes a mother. We love this drawing of Cinderella and Prince Charming with their son by artist Lene Asberg. Now that Cinderella is married to the prince and lives at the castle, she is able to just sit back and relax with her family. It's great to see her son playing around on the palace steps where she originally lost her slipper. And look at the clock in the background. It is striking 12. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, that is. Midnight might be a little bit past the young prince's bedtime. Rapunzel. As Mother Gothel sings in Tangled, Mother Knows Best. And while Mother Gothel may not be the best mother in the world, or even a mother at all, she isn't exactly wrong. Mother Gothel uses these words to scare Rapunzel into staying inside her tower. She convinces her that the world outside is full of things that can hurt her. However, it looks like the only thing that can stop Rapunzel is, well, a dirty diaper. This illustration by Isaiah Stevens depicts the less glamorous side of parenting. In it, Flynn Rider stands behind Rapunzel, seemingly afraid of his own child. He wears a gas mask, which is so overdramatic. Rapunzel, however, clearly shows no fear. Mothers know best, after all. Although she was raised away from her own parents, Rapunzel was always able to feel their love for her. She saw the lanterns they lit up in the sky every year for her birthday. So we know she is going to be able to show her child how much she loves him every single day. Plus, Rapunzel should be able to use her magical abilities to her advantage. Being able to heal up any cut, scrape, or bruise with your hair or a few tears certainly comes in handy as a mom. Tiana 
As a kid, Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog is incredibly close to her father. He is the one that gives her the love for cooking, and he teaches her the value of hard work. Her mother is also an important figure in her life. She is always worrying that Tiana is pushing herself too hard, and she really wants her daughter to settle down and give her some grandchildren. Since she has two wonderful, supportive parents in her life, it would make sense that Tiana would carry on the tradition and be an excellent mother. In this drawing by artist Lene Asberg, Tiana and Prince Naveen play with their daughter in Where Else? The Bayou. We love how gorgeous Tiana looks in her green bathing suit. Also, Tiana's daughter is wearing a very similar dress to the one young Tiana wears in the movie. We love that the artist dressed all three of them in green as a subtle nod to their froggy former selves. We know that Tiana will introduce her daughter to all of her Bayou friends, like Louis and Mama Odie, and Charlotte is going to want to play dress up with her all the time. We just hope that the young princess never has a sudden hankering for eating flies and sticks to the gumbo instead. Belle. It's a tale as old as time, Beauty and the Beast. Belle is already a caretaker. She looks after her father and his crazy inventions, and she nurtures the Beast into having a more gentle demeanor. With her patience and constant sweet smile, of course, Belle would make an amazing mother. Here, she is with Prince Adam holding their son, whom artist Lene Asberg named Felix. Felix means the lucky one, and Belle and the Beast definitely look like they feel lucky to have him around. We love seeing Prince Adam so happy and snuggling Belle, although it is a little weird seeing him as a human instead of the Beast. Belle is happily cradling their son, who seems to be a little fussy, but clearly Belle is handling him whining like a pro. We wonder if the Beast's expansive library includes any children's books. If it does, we're sure Belle would read her child every single bedtime story she could get her hands on. And we bet Belle and Prince Adam's son is best friends with Chip. Imagine the shenanigans they could get into in that giant castle. In fact, their children are probably friends with everyone in the castle, especially Lumiere, Cogsworth, and Miss Potts. That's it for our list of 10 Disney princesses reimagined as parents. Which royal child is your favorite? What other Disney characters would you like to see as parents? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Trendy for more awesome videos daily.